100% imaging scanner, not a hybrid, no laser component, no spinner motors, no lasers, fully solid state. The retailers are interested to know um, if it's as fast as their laser units, because on this, this type of high quality barcode, uh, the laser units are still fairly good. So, first of all, what I always do is So as you can see, even though it's full imaging, it, it reads just as fast as a laser, if not more, on the standard barcode. I'm buying uh, alcohol, and on the screen here, it's asking for driver's license verification. So I've got driver's license now. So even with motion, it's reading that 2D PDF type barcode. And that's really making people say, wow, today. And I'm here as a customer at self-checkout. I've got my mobile loyalty on the phone here. And I'm not sure how it's going to work. So the idea is with six-sided scanning, it will read whichever way you want to present it. So perhaps I was just at a price checker. Uh, so they're used to the, the price checker looking down on the phone. So they do like this, it reads it. Uh, th maybe they fly a bit, so they're used to the TSA readers. So they put it down like that, it reads at the airport. Or just that's the biggest window, so I just read it in there. And you'll notice that, that on the cell phone, it's reading it really fast, number one. And number two is, um, there's no button to push or anything like that to make it read cell phone, it's fully automatic. So I could bring coupons or something on that? Yeah, loyalty card, uh, coupons, uh, all on mobile. So BYOD, um, it just works. Whichever way you want to use it, it just works with BYOD. We've got an optional little customer scanner. So they can walk up with their cell phone once again. Um, this is the end of an app which uh, it does self-shopping. And this is what they check out with, is this barcode. So they just walk up and scan that barcode there. And on the screen there it says, we recognize you, we know your, your uh, credit card number, so you, you're out of here, you can go now. So I'd be building my shopping list in aisle yep. prior in to coming aisle. here? Uh, okay. And then get your specials as well. Okay. And then that barcode lets you check out just by scanning on the scanner. For the rest of the operations in the store, you're going to look at some really tough barcodes. Like this one is barely a barcode anymore. Uh, but with imaging technology, it can just eat this stuff up like that. Uh, a laser would just never get through that barcode at all. Or this guy here is heavily truncated, as we call. It's been printed extremely short. So once again, just, just reads out like that. Uh, color problems, which lasers struggle with. No problem with that. Uh, once again, truncation on this little, this little guy here. It's not only truncated, it's very curvy as well. So this is GS1 Data Bar. It's been around in the US for a little while now, but it's going global next year, 2014. And a lot of the scanners have some difficulty scanning these too. Uh, by their design and their specification, they're much smaller than UPC. For produce or? Yeah, usually scan and then weigh. This okay. is a scale as well. And you can see, once again, being an imager, it can, it can really scan that very easily too. And often these are behind plastic. So I've got a little demonstration here where I put one of these barcodes behind a plastic bag. And once again, basically no difference in performance behind a plastic bag.